Hey guys, it's Poe back again with Let's Get Techie. Today we're going to take a look at a budget computer case from a company called DIY PC. This is their G3R. If you like PSU shrouds, LEDs, and full acrylic side windows, I think you're going to like this case. I also think you'll be surprised at the price. Hope you enjoy the video. For being a budget case, it has quite a few features that you would see on more expensive cases. Don't get me wrong, it's definitely still a budget case coming in at $39 before shipping. First, we'll discuss the pros. As you can see in the opening, it does have a full acrylic side panel similar to what comes on the Enthu Pro-M acrylic from Fantex. Another quick detail is that this case does use thumb screws on both side panels, which is a plus. Moving to the front panel, I.O. ports include one USB 3.0, two USB 2.0, dual audio jacks, reset, and power buttons. No complaints here at this price point. Moving to the inside of the case, it includes three 120 millimeter fans, one in the rear exhaust position and two in the front intake position. They are of the DC variety rather than PWM. These fans light up red and actually look pretty good. There is also room at the top of the case to install two more 120 millimeter fans. The front will accept a 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler, but the top will not as the motherboard heat sinks protrude out too far and the case is pretty narrow. The case comes with standoffs already installed. I test fitted an ATX sized Gigabyte Z170 board and it lined up perfectly with the pre-installed standoffs. Upon further investigation, I noticed that this Gigabyte motherboard is actually a bit narrower than most. Uh, you will be able to fit regular sized ATX as well. While we are already looking at the motherboard tray, it is worth noting that they have used a very large opening on the backside to make it effortless when installing backplates for whatever cooler you may want to use. If you are going to go the air cooler route, this case supports coolers up to 170 millimeters in height. The case also accepts graphics cards up to 360 millimeters in length and it can house one five and a quarter optical drive as well as four two and a half inch drives or two two and a half inch and two three and a half inch drives. Growing in popularity over the last two years or so are power supply shrouds. This case doesn't disappoint here. This will allow you to better hide your unmanaged cables for those of you who choose the cram and close method. For the other half that want to practice good cable management there are plenty of tie down points for zip or twist ties. The last pro I will discuss is the filter situation. Even though this is a budget case, it is beating higher end cases in regards to filters. It does include a front dust filter as well as a power supply filter. Neither are particularly user friendly, but I won't complain since they are at least present. Now unfortunately it's time for the cons. Again at this price point I don't think anything I'm mentioning is a deal breaker. My first gripe is at the rear of the case. It looks as though it includes removable PCIe covers. Unfortunately, they are the breakout style. It does appear though that you could add your own screw in style if you choose to do so. While we're still at the rear, the second misfortune of this case is a defect in the upper panel. This isn't a huge deal since it's in the rear, but something worth noting nevertheless. Moving to the front of the case, they have made the decision to permanently attach the IO to the front panel. This means you need to be very careful when removing the front panel. One upside is that there are no screws and it does just pop off. My final gripe and probably what matters the most to me is that I do not care for the shiny plastic. This shows absolutely everything. Make sure you bring your Michael Jackson gloves when handling. Honestly, even when it is clean, I still would have preferred a matte finish. Overall, I feel like for the money, you are getting a pretty good case. It isn't going to win any awards from Dimitri over at Hardware Canucks, but it will get the job done and look good doing it. Alright guys, so there you have it. This is what I would consider a great budget case. Uh, it does have a few shortcomings, but I feel like the feature list that it does include uh, puts it in the category of something that you would want to buy if it were around $40, which it is. Um, I feel like this case punches well above its weight. Um, I want to thank you guys for a watching this video, b subscribing. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed, 
please do. We would greatly appreciate that. Please make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Uh, we've got social media down in the description. Uh, leave us a comment as well. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you might want to see in future videos. Uh, the very last thing is I want to give a shout out to Dave Silva. Uh, he was the one who allowed me to borrow this case to review it. Uh, he actually had it shipped directly to my house. So big thanks to him. Uh, he is the creator of our PC group here in Charlotte, North Carolina. It is the NCPC Enthusiast. Uh, I will drop a link to that in the description as well, so feel free to go check that out, and I appreciate it, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.